Man, what's going on with y'all, man? Um, today we're gonna be discussing three things that you never do around women. But before we get into that content, I just started my Patreon. I'm gonna be doing a lot of, a lot of, a lot of exclusive content on there. If you just wanna um, support, that link is in the description. You can be a $2 supporter or even a $20 supporter. Um, every one of the tiers, um, I'm gonna do different types of exclusive content for each tier and I have different perks and different things for each tier so if you're interested in seeing more exclusive content um, different content I'm not going to do on YouTube click that link below click the patreon link also too guys make sure you go check out my free ebooks as well you know so the number one thing you don't want to do around women is lie and this is why what you got to understand is women are super intuitive so like for women they remember everything that you say and you cannot build a foundation on lies and once a woman catches you lying she's already then lost that respect for you and what i see a lot from men is a lot of times man we lie just to get the sex from women you you're you're telling her that you want to be in a relationship with her but you really don't you really just doing it for the sex or you doing it because you're afraid you're going to lose her and to a woman that's a she's looking at you as weak that's a sign of weakness that's a sign of you, you're in scarcity because if, if you don't want to be in a relationship with a woman why would you front like you really do you're going to get into that relationship we all didn't seen that episode of fresh prince where will married that chick because he just wanted the sex and what happens is when you get into a situation with somebody just for that everything you do is going to be under a microscope you know what I'm saying? And what you're gonna realize is you're gonna end up self-sabotaging the situation anyway because you don't really wanna be in the situation and you did it for the SCX. And guess what? It ain't even gonna be that good. Nah, I'm playing. It could be good. But the whole point is when you lie to women, guys, when you lie to women, they instantly lose respect for you. And we know respect is hard to gain and you can lose it twice as fast. So you definitely never want to lie to women. All right, number two is getting in your feelings. Um, And this is something that you know, I kind of struggle with from time to time. What you got to understand with, with women, women are going to do a lot of testing. Women do a lot of subtle things and they're not necessarily doing it on purpose, but women do a lot of things to get a reaction out of a man because a woman naturally has to see which man has the most strength. And I ain't talking muscles. I'm talking mental strength because guess what? A woman has to feel safe and secure. So she's naturally going to test a lot to see which dude does not have his emotions in check. And for me, for many years, I never had my emotions in check. I let any little thing bother me. It could be maybe she's not texting me back when I want her to text me back, or maybe the date is not going my way. And these tests are not nothing you have to think about, right? It's just, it's about you as a man staying centered and staying confident and standing for what you believe in and not letting a woman just, you know what I'm saying, pull you to the left, pull you to the right, right? You know what I'm saying? Stand up for what you believe in. Um, stay within that masculinity, man. Don't be letting what she says or what she does make you feel some type of way and now you frustrated or maybe she's not giving it up to you as fast as you wanted to. So now you mad and you upset. She gonna be laughing at you in the group message. And again, this might be the worst possible thing you can do with a woman, man. When you, when, <laughs> as soon as a woman pick up that you mad or you upset or you sad about something, it's kind of over with. She didn't lost respect. Because again, a woman is seeking strength. So she's seeking the, the, the strongest man that she can get. Because again, a woman, if she wants kids, she wants to have a strong offspring and she don't want to be with no weak dude. And so again, this all goes back to, we got to deal with these insecurities. We got to focus on ourselves because if you don't, you're going to end up overcompensating or these insecurities are going to come to the forefront and a woman is going to run with it. That's what they do. They're gonna run with it and they're gonna toy with you. They're gonna manip. And I'm not saying all women are gonna manipulate you, but when a woman senses that you have a weakness in the area, it's going to be an issue. She's going to lose respect because what's going to happen is you're going to start disrespecting yourself and it's gonna show. And guess what? People are gonna treat you how you treat yourself. All right, number three, guys, is getting too comfortable. Um, this happens a lot to dudes. Um, and what I mean by getting too comfortable is we could be dating a woman, right? And a lot of times, you know, us men, what are we? We're very routine, routine of doing things, the same thing over and over, maybe going to the same bar or taking her to the same place, or you're always trying to, to Netflix and chill. 
when you get into that mode of doing the same thing over and over, the woman becomes what? And now she's bored. She's bored because she already knows what to expect. And a lot of men forget just because you got into a relationship with her doesn't mean that you stop dating her. And that's what happens to a lot of men. It happened to me millions and millions of times. Like you gotta continue to provide your woman an experience because if you don't, again, like I said, women's emotions have to be engaged. They want to be engaged. They want to know that you are giving effort and that you care about them. You know what I'm saying? So you have to put in effort to become creative. And I know it's hard because naturally when you have somebody, you like, man, I don't feel like doing all that stuff no more. But you kind of have to, or you just become too predictable. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta constantly, constantly be doing different things, constantly be dating her, constantly showing her different things, constantly having fun, do not get comfortable. This also means too, don't lose yourself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, man, we lose, and this is not just men, but women too. We lose ourselves when we get with somebody. We stop doing, we stop having hobbies or we stop going to the gym um, a certain number of times and we lower that amount or we stop hanging with our friends or we stop, you know what I'm saying, going to grandma's house on Sundays. And what I mean is always be that same person you was before the relationship. And I know it's hard because you get with somebody and things change, but you don't want to get to a point where that person becomes your whole life. Once they end it, you didn't lost yourself. Then you don't know who you are no more. You didn't lost your friends, lost your hobbies, and now you have an identity crisis. So this is why it's important to continue to date your woman. Treat it like it's the first date. Every date you should treat like it's the first date and then you won't have that issue. You know what I'm saying? Always continue to level up. Keep everything in the forefront. Continue to prioritize, continue to prioritize your life. Because if you don't, you're gonna fall in that trap of getting way too comfortable and that's gonna turn a woman off. This is why lying to a woman, getting too comfortable and getting in your feelings will instantly turn a woman off. And that's a fact. All right, guys, that's my video for today. Um, guys, if you um, are interested in seeing more exclusive content, make sure you click the Patreon link below. And also, too, my links to my free ebooks are also below as well. And also, guys, make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the, to the channel and share as well. And I'm gone.